This is doing my head in. These are little decals. Well, you wouldn't believe what they're for, but we thought we'd get, every time we take the hearse out, we do something else to it. It's just tradition afterwards to make it better. And, you know, we'll never, ever finish. And someone said, would it be nice to have escutcheons? I think it was escutcheons. Or, um, anyway, little decals on the corners of the glass. So I've had them made, but they want to stick to the hard paper more than this, the, 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 the other bit. And I have, this morning, I've only done one. And I've got one bit stuck to my thumb. I can't get it off. Yes, frustrating, to say the least. More frustrating than UK banks. I'm actually lying. <laughs> UK banks are doing me crusting. I've got 75 vehicles and I can't get them off the place because they won't let anyone pay me. <clears throat> Terrible, isn't it? Shocking. Terrible. UK yeah. helping Ukraine. Ho, 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 and ho, who's ho. running the world? Yeah, banks. <laughs> Banks. I'm winning, look, I'm halfway. I'm winning. You've been drinking. It was going to be new tracks, that was the next thing, and we've got them, and um, I'm not sure when we're going to put them on, but I think it'll be after Christmas now. I haven't got a funeral book for a week or so, so, you know, don't really matter. But uh, yes, nice to keep on top of the old girl. Ooh. Excellent. I wonder what he's doing. Looks like he's done fuel pump. There's just no telling. Let's check over me bits of, um, me little bits on me hearse. Little, just little details. Yeah, that's a bit subtle, isn't it? Yeah, well, I like that. Golden hour, and the golden hour means get your bang stick out and have a little bang around. And uh, we found some cartridges and um, 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 there must be some clays left over from the events we do. Um, there's a few in the back of this thing and then there'll be stuff all over the grass. We'll pick a few up. And we thought we'd have them bang around. So uh, I might manage to film Ashley. I only really need a couple of clays because it's well windy. I just shot a crow as it flew over 100 mile an hour. Quite pleased with that. Don't like crows a lot. Um, just saw two big deer, but I, I don't want to shoot them. I like them. And we ought to come down and drill a hole in that boat over there, you know, let the water out. Should, yeah. Success! We've found a clay, just the one. But like I say, it's windy, and actually, it would take a little while to get his. Is that another one? Is that another one? No, half a one. It would take a little while for us to get his eye in. So um, we've got about 30 clays and 50 cartridges. So I think that'd be enough. There's a lot of pigeons about. Perhaps we should be pigeon shooting. Look at all that lot. 
They're unusual pigeons, they're black ones. Yeah, black pigeons. Hang on, he's probably ready to fire one. We're missing a cameraman, but I obviously shot everything that, um, that I aimed at because um, I've got a natural talent. And uh, we fire over the top of the 432, and the chance of actually shooting me is remote because you have to shoot through the 432. I guess he could get a few stray shots underneath it, but he'd have to be a bit clutchy to fire his gun in that position anyway. Uh, I'll try and do a bit of filming. Bloody hell, he got it. Okay, when you're ready. Bloody hell, he got it. Yeah, they're sort of stopped, really. We want to, we, we might have them go with the wind. Hey, say when. Yeah, they've about stopped. I'm going to have to change this. Right, now I'm going the other way. Should we go with the wind? This is sort of the bend from the boys. And uh, as long as he's behind them, so it's hard for him to shoot me. He thinks about his inheritance now, probably. I'm sure there's a clause in the wheel, in the wheel somewhere. That it, it's nil poire if he peppers me all over, especially around my head area. He's just stuffing his pockets with cartridges. I used to have some special blue ones with police written on them, and um, they were full of sawdust. Made a lovely flame when you shot them. A guy called Colin left them behind. His mate was stealing them, apparently, from the police, but there we go. That's another story. Another story for another day. Oh, he missed that. Go! Oh, I dropped Here we go! Yes, he got it. He got it. Yeah, he dusted that one. Oh, he missed it, missed it. with shooting the um, black circular, can I say black? Black circular pigeons, and now we're after the uh, gray fluffy ones. Did I say fluffy? Can't say fluffy, you gotta say feathery. And um, we have got a wonderful wood at the bottom of the farm where um, pigeons do do come down. And, you know, I don't think I've shot pigeons down here for <sighs> 10 years, is that wrong? It's wrong, isn't it? Anyway, there's a lot of pigeons coming in, and um, yeah, this really does sort them in for the boys. I tell you, they come in, you see them for a split second in this wind. And uh, you've got to think about avoiding the branches and also giving them the right lead. And as soon as you move your gun, they jink. Jink means they've seen you and they, they kind of go off at an angle. And knocking wood pigeons out of the sky is not easy. But there's quite a few about, so uh, you never know if we could get lucky. But remember, if you kill something, you've got to eat it. And that's why I always make minestrone out of the flies on the windscreen of my car. Ashley probably wouldn't even pluck them. He'd just eat it raw while it's still hot and steaming. Yeah, just bend his winds back and bite his chest off. Swallow it whole. Probably wouldn't even chew it. I know his brother wouldn't chew it. Danny, just eat anything. Anything within the, his arm's width. When he's sitting in front of the telly, if he can reach it with his hand, he's going to keep going until there's none left, regardless. Can't see much in the sky at the moment. But this is the time. This is the golden 30 minutes. If I was a pigeon, I'd be thinking, go home, go home, get somewhere to sleep quick. There'll be nowhere left. I'll try and get some in a minute. I'll try and zoom in. Right. I can't understand how he shot it and I'm doing the business on it. I just don't think that's how it works. Yeah, no, I'm sure I, they taste the rules, do, they? Round his parson's nose, you do a little cut like that, and you try not to cut and disturb his insides too much, otherwise it gets even more messy. Right? And then you go round his bum hole. I don't know if we can show this on Facebook. I don't know. Definitely not YouTube. Well, if you've shot it, you've got to eat it. Then you chop his neck off, like that. And then in here is his crop. And that's like a bag of skin with all these peas in and things. Lovely. He's got a lot of fat on him. See all these, what? that's his fat. And that's, um, so you take that bit of skin out. 
he's a chubby little critter. And this is the bit that's a bit horrible. You have to pull all this out. At least it's warm. There's his little bits and bobs. That's his liver. I can feel his heart. He's still red hot. And then you've got to get the lungs out, really, because the lungs can be bitter. Right? And there he is. If you put an onion in there and then do him as a little roast, but eat it slow because there'll be some shot in it. Okay. You'll be surprised how tasty a wood pigeon is. Lovely.